Hi, it's Matthew from accountingpower.com.au and I have here for you today one of our brand new custom reports for the MYB accounting software packages. And what this does is we have an Excel report and it links and updates live with your MYB data file. Now we've got this profit and loss report for jobs and it's job details, this particular one. And in the top left hand corner, you'll notice up here we can select the year, month and job. Watch what happens when I change the job number from 117 to 115 and watch those figures change automatically on the report. 125, okay, let me go change the month for you. And again, you can see everything dynamically and quickly changes for you. We'll come up here, change the year, you can see again, everything changes for us. So nice, quick and easy. Now, you're probably wondering, well, Matthew, what happens when you go and create a new job or even a new account code inside MYB? How does the report handle that? Well, it takes care of it in ways that are completely hands-free for you. Now, what I mean by that is you'll actually insert the brand new job into the report for you and even create for the account code a brand new row insert that account number and all the formulas, all the titles, they just get automatically adjusted for you. So let me demonstrate that to you. We'll open up the MYB software. We'll go to lists and jobs and we'll create a new job 116. Okay, so new and job number 116. We'll make it a sub job of 1110 so it stays in order and we'll call this power reports. and we'll click OK. So there's our job 116, brand new, just created. OK, so we'll close that down. We'll now go to our accounts list to income and we'll create a brand new account code. So we'll go 1350, sounds good. So 1350 and we shall call this one Accounting Power. OK, clicked OK and there's our brand new account code. Now, let's go create a brand new sale for that job and that account code. So you enter sales. Now the way you enter your data doesn't change. So you can continue the way you always have entering your data into MYB. It doesn't affect that at all. So let's pick a canning power right there. I'm going to make the amount 10,000. And we'll leave the tax code as NT just so you can see the nice neat 10,000 on the report. Okay, so we'll click record. So our job is done inside job is not done. I forgot to add the job number. So let me quickly do that. And it was 116. There we go. Job number 116 for the brand new account code accounting power. So we'll click OK. And now we'll go back to Excel. Now before it re will refresh with this latest data, what we need to do is open up our Power Report software. Now this sits in between MYB and Excel and allows the two to be, I suppose the best way of saying it, best of mates and allows the two to talk to each other. You can see here I already have the data file selected and all I need to do is click clear old data and then extract data. Here we enter in our username and passwords and exactly the same as what you normally enter into MYB and click OK. It's downloading the data and it's done. So inside Excel all we need to do is find this button called refresh all and it's actually a standard button that's within Excel all the time. Okay, so we click that and away it goes. There's our brand new account code, Accounting Power. Okay, now we're in the month of October, so we'll change that to October of 2012 actually was the 10,000 and we'll change the job number to 116. It's automatically appeared. There's our $10,000 for job number 116. The reports like this make it dead easy for you to create your month end reports. Okay, and you can actually create and modify reports yourself. You're not limited to a reporting system that's locked down. You can actually create reports for yourself or you can modify the templates that come with the system. Now if you'd like more information, just jump on over to accountingpower.com.au and you can have a look at one of the webinars that are frequently available. We'll catch up with you later.